Hello everyone, it's the disc here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, www.gbhbl.com. And this is a review for the free-to-play game available on iOS, Android, etc. And the game is Toon Blast by Peak Games, described as the funniest cartoon puzzle adventure ever. A free-to-play match game, effectively, um, gems, things like that, the usual stuff you'd expect to see on the free-to-play market. These characters you're seeing there, Cooper Cat, Wally, Wolf, and Bruno Bear, three animated characters, don't actually do or say anything, it's just, that's the characters, Toon Blast. So you can see, it's a very, very simple gameplay, you just click, literally, click, touch, two or more blocks to eliminate them. You've got a goal at the top, normally a certain number of a certain thing that you need to clear with a certain number of moves. This is the first level, very straightforward, you can see, and when you complete it, Drops all these rockets to up your score and see if you can get three stars. Now, this is a surprisingly fun game. It's easy to play, it's easy to understand, and got enough challenge in it as you go on. There's 120 levels after all. That's, there's a, that, and kids and adults can both enjoy this. You know, kids will enjoy the simplistic colors, I guess, and the um, straightforward gameplay, whereas adults can see the more challenge in it when it comes to having to, for example, this one where it bursts more bubbles. It becomes more about matching more than two, because you can destroy two, destroy certain bubbles in this level, but in that case, where I just did more than one, I created a rocket and was able to do that. As you can see, you fly along, very straightforward and fun because of that. However, where the game falls down is where a lot of free-to-play games fall down, and it's with its in-app purchases. Now, we're going to get to that a little bit later on and go a little more in detail. At the moment, it's just basically gameplay to uh, show off the levels. This is one of the... Uh, Later, well, not later, we're in the 20s levels, and you see there's several different things you've got to do here boxes and bubbles. To destroy boxes, you basically destroy the squares that are closest to it, and then drop them to the bubbles, and then follow the same formula. There's a lot of moves, but you'll quickly find they will run out. You'll, you'll run out of moves quicker than you would think, and then you'll lose a life. You've got five lives before you either uh, have to wait out of time or spend a little bit of money. I mean, it has to be said, the characters are effectively pointless, other than just being animated characters on the main screen. They don't do anything, they don't say anything, there are no cutscenes, there's nothing they add to the game. You know, you've got a bear in the top left corner making blinky eyes and faces, but that's about it. Are they cute? Yeah, fair enough, but they're not, they're not going to set the world on fire, they're not going to be the next big thing. So, I, I guess, maybe they want to try and make more of a franchise out of these characters, but it's just a match gems blocks game there's nothing special about it and it's got some of the most diabolical in-app purchases i've seen in a free-to-play game for a long time if you're a regular reader of the site and you read our free-to-play reviews you'll know that we are very against the free-to-play model in its current format how it works how people charge for it the the amounts they think or expect people to be tricked into how they operate we're not talking about ads because this game doesn't actually have any we're talking about the prices and what you get for that price. In a free-to-play game, you can always argue, well, you got it for free, why don't you chuck the developers a bit of money if you like the game? That absolutely is something I agree with. However, the greed, it's the greed. See the levels fail there. Try again. It's how much is being asked and what you get in return. In a lot of free-to-play games, you can spend upwards of £100 and still not unlock the full game. It's still a limited purchase that will have things that run out. Sure, you might get massive bonuses that basically allow you to do whatever you want, but then you just paid to win. That's all you've done. And unfortunately, this game falls into that category. It's challenging further on. I mean, we're in the 20s here and there's like 120 levels so I imagine it's going to get very tough and at times the random drops from the, of the uh, squares at the top does kind of mm, guarantee failure at least once you will find that happens where it's just near impossible all you're getting is two, two blocks together sometimes 
across the entire amount of squares, you'll only have one. As you can see at the moment, I'm trying to be smart and keep back my rockets and the bomb to try and get as much down as I can because I've got to burst those bubbles. But as you can see, once you get the hang of it, it's not actually that difficult of a game to get through. There those goes, those weird characters. Three stars, nice big score. And the next level is level 25. Now here we go, here's the in-app purchases. So, showing off just the coin prices, the in-game currency is coins and how much these bonus things cost. These help you around the levels, you've already seen them being used in the several levels before. So. There's an example of somebody in that purchases 250 coins to 5,000 coins, biggest amount 99.99, almost 100 pound, one penny short of 100 pound. Now that's actually not the minimum. The minimum amount I'm going to show it in a minute is actually 199. You see that the jump in prices and the amount of coins that are on offer. Problem is an example here is that to refill your lives costs 100 coins. So you would spend one ninety nine just to refill your lives. That's all you would be spending on. That's all you would get. Absolutely insane. And here is the most expensive of the entire things, the boxing gloves. 500 coins for three. That's it, for three. Nine ninety nine. Ten pound for three consumable boxing gloves. They remove everything in a row and that's it. You would spend ten pound for three. That is absolutely insane. I mean, that's greed on a level I've not seen. Break down to 5,000 when you spent 100 pounds and bought X amount of boxing gloves. You would use them all and spend 100 pounds for what? To potentially get past the level that you're stuck on occasionally? That's, that's flabbergasting. I, I've seen greed and these prices, this free-to-play model pricing system they all use is running rampant, but that's crazy. And it's disappointing as well because the game is fun it's a decent match game but it does feel like oh are you aiming this at children are you trying to take advantage of that system now obviously your device whatever you're using does have systems in place so if you're giving it to your young child to sort of play and enjoy you can always put restrictions on it so they don't just spend all your money but it still feels wrong it still feels wrong that such a price would be put at a consumable it's not like hey here spend 60 pounds and you will have infinite supply of these things and so on. It's not. It's you have a limited number and when you run out, which you will, you spend a hundred pounds for nothing, and all you will have done is maybe got past ten more levels. As you can see, it does get more and more challenging. Here, you've got to burst the balloons using the limited blocks you've got and drop the ducks to the bottom. Again, it's fairly straightforward, you can see, because you can just do a match two. It's just about picking picking the right ones and not jumping straight in. That's where the challenge comes, I guess. But those prices, wow. It's so disappointing. As I said before, it's a fun game, one of the better match games that are on the market. But there's no point giving developer any money, because even the cheapest amount gives you nothing. You spend one ninety nine and you refill your lives. But if you wait the timer out, which I think is um, half an hour per life, 30 minutes per life, you get it back anyway, so you might as well use your lives, turn it off, then come back to it later on if you want. Rather than spending one ninety nine to refill your lives, because this one ninety nine could be really unlucky. You get your five lives back, and then the next level or two ends up being random drops and boxes that don't help you, and suddenly you've spent one ninety nine. I mean, there are games available for less than that that are full quality games. And that's how you've got to justify it. Does the developer deserve a bit of money for this game? Probably. Had the first, had the first in-app purchase been five lives or X amount of this or X amount of that for 79p, which is normally a starting point for a lot, I would have argued, well, yeah, drop them that 79p because they made a decent match game. But they haven't. They've gone with greed, and it's incredibly disappointing. So check the game out if you fancy it. I recommend that you don't bother with it purely because of that. I'd say there's no ads, so there's no revenue coming in that way. Why would they need it? 
if X amount of people spend £100, they've made a lot of bloody money. Anyway, check out our site, www.gbhbl.com, and follow this and YouTube channel for more videos, more reviews, let's plays, and stuff like that. Thank you.